What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. Today, it's the tale of two plugins for table of contents. So I'm working on this really long form uh, guide on starting a small business podcast. It's for my small business, local entrepreneurial podcast I do. It's at southcoast.fm. And I started writing this thing out and I got to 3,000 words and then 5,000 words. And now I'm at over 12,000 words. And I started putting it in Gutenberg. I started formatting it. And I was like, you know what I really need here? I need a table of contents. I need to be able to have somebody click on uh, the uh, headings that uh, identify with the headings blocks at the very top of the post so they can skip through because there's just a bunch of content here. Probably the reasons why you're looking for a table of contents yourself. So I started formatting things out and I started searching around. I couldn't find a lot at first. And the first one I found was Ultimate Blocks. And Ultimate Blocks is obviously Gutenberg specific. Uh, it's an Ultimate Blocks add-on for Gutenberg. And it comes with a whole bunch of plugins or blocks that you can activate or deactivate. Uh, so there's things I like about this plugin and there's things I dislike about this plugin. Let's start with the things that I dislike. I dislike having to install something and then have to go ahead and deactivate all of the stuff that comes with it. I'm looking just for a specific use case for table of contents. That means I just want a plugin or a block that's gonna do just that and nothing else. There's nothing wrong with having all this other stuff there, but just like the WordPress purist in me is like, I don't need all of this technical overhead to be carried through with this plugin. In other words, the plugin gets an update. It's gonna be for more plug. It's gonna be for more blocks. It's gonna be for the other blocks in here. It might not be specifically for table of contents, which is what I'm looking for. So there's that, right? It's not a whole bunch of overhead because you can disable it, but I just know that, hey, this thing is gonna be being built for all of these other features, not just for table of contents. The second thing that really drives me crazy as somebody who's developed uh, plugins in the past and still continues to develop plugins today, putting your, uh, plugins, options pages right in the super admin column right here on the left hand side for something that I won't be using every single day. So, all right, it's fine if this was like WooCommerce because obviously WooCommerce is huge and I'm always going to be doing things in my e-commerce store. It's fine that it's in my super admin. Um, I would even argue that maybe some marketing plugins like analytics and uh, push it a little bit further to the edge, maybe some opt-in plugins, it's okay to go there. But when you put your logo and your ultimate blocks title in my super admin, it just drives me crazy because I, I don't need to see it. <laughs> you know, I just, there's something about that space. I just don't want too much stuff there. I just want the items I need to search for there. Uh, and visually it just gets in my way. So if there were an option here to move this into the settings where it really truly belongs, I'd be happy about that. But let's take a look at what this table of contents looks like. So I'm gonna to go to my long form post. This is an older version. This is something that I, I had imported in here to just test out table of contents. Uh, and if I go to the information tab, this one here is about 10,000, almost 11,000 words in this earlier draft, uh, 48 headings. So I'm gonna add this block right at the top, table of contents, and there it is. Now this is the things I like about this plugin. Super fast and visual, I like it and not a lot of options for me to play with, which could be good and bad depending on your use case. Now, what I like about it is I can quickly see what my table of contents is gonna look like, and I have the option to uh, you know, modify it or display it in columns, which is pretty cool, uh, and it's super easy. So I can have two columns, because there's a lot of headings here, or I could have three, or I could just go back to one. If we take a look at the blocked options, again, lightweight, I do like that, um, I can select which headers I want it to match up to. So if I only want it H1, H2, H3, I can set that. Or if I didn't want a particular one, you know, I could pick and choose. So that's pretty cool. Uh, enable smooth scrolling. When somebody clicks it, it scrolls down to the bottom of the page or to the location on the page. Um, and then allow users to toggle the visibility of table of contents. They can sort of close it uh, and, and modify it uh, and modify the display that way. So pretty cool. Let's, let's hit update. And let's take a look at it on the the actual post, uh, and here it is. This is it, this is the single column, very straightforward. This is the Astra theme, so there's not much going on in terms of design. Click that, smooth scrolling brings it down. Uh, let's take a look with smooth, smooth scrolling disabled. Uh, click on this. Actually, you know what? It didn't show the option to hide in that, that last year. Let's disable smooth scrolling, let's update it. And let's preview it again. 
And maybe there's something here with Astra for the show hide to not be visible here, but let's actually click on this to test the smooth scrolling. Okay, so it just snaps right to it. So that's the difference between a smooth scroll and a uh, smooth scroll disabled. It just snaps right to that heading location. Okay, not bad. Ultimate blocks, the table of contents block, hey, pretty lightweight, pretty fast, uh, useful. Let's move on to the one that I believe I'm gonna go with uh, when I actually set this up on the, uh, on the live site. Uh, and that is Lucky WP Table of Contents. And Lucky WP Table of Contents is a plugin that's just for Table of Contents. So I installed that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and check the settings page. Now this is what I like. I like that it's actually put into my settings panel. I don't need to see this every day. It's not something I'm gonna be you know, diving into every day but it has a ton of options. So let's just take a look at this. Under the general tab, I can do a minimal count heading. The count of headings uh, in the post is less. The table of contents is not displayed. Pretty cool, which means I could put this on every blog post and say that, hey, if, if there's not more than two headings, don't display that. Or I could set it up and modify it to say, well, if it, if it has five or more, then let's do that. Pretty cool. Um, depth, you can set the depth. Uh, numeration, you can do decimal numbers, you can do Roman numbers, that's really cool. Uh, numeration suffix, if I wanted to do that, really, uh, really useful for, you know, depending on what the rest of your theme looks like in WordPress. Uh, the titles, you can modify what the title looks like. You can enable the show hide. Um, you can enable the behavior. Again, same thing, smooth scroll uh, and scroll offset uh, is pretty handy there. Then it goes even deeper. I'm not going to write out, I'm not going to say out every single option here, but we can play with the appearance. We can play with uh, the full width. We can play with uh, the float, uh, and it floats to the left or right of the content. So at first, because ultimately I'm using the Chaplin theme on my other podcast page, and there's just a lot of white space to the right of the content. Sort of everything is left justified, pretty tight, uh, good for uh, just reading uh, lots of content on a desktop view, but also great on mobile. And I had actually wished that it floated down the right-hand side, you know, while I scroll down. That would be that would be amazing. <laughs> like if it did that, that would be just the icing on the cake uh, for me, because I would love it uh, to scroll through all this content and then see the sections change as I scroll through. Pretty cool. Hey, if you know a plugin that does that, I'm all ears. Uh, I haven't implemented this yet on my uh, production site. So again, color scheme, all of the different colors you can play with, super cool. Auto insert, you can enable this and say that uh, I want this on all posts, sort of just like uh, the other plugin we were looking at. Um, processing headings, always for post types, and then miscellaneous. Um, you know, you could skip by the level, you could add some text, um, and it does some cool things about SEO. I don't know much about, you know, SEO and table of contents and how it all improves the, uh, I'm sure there's some schema data there and being able to to, uh, to index that is, is fairly useful. But let's go ahead and take a look at it in the post. Podcast. And let's go ahead and drop the plugin, I mean the block in, and table of contents is right there. So we'll drop it in. It doesn't give you the visual display like the other plugin does. Uh, let's just get rid of this one. But if I do edit this, I have all of those options that I just looked at. Uh, in the admin, right in a, in a modal overlay, so I can kind of play with that uh, right in here. Save, let's take a look at the block settings. It actually doesn't have any block settings because it puts it in the modal, so that's okay. Let's just update one more time and then hit preview. And there it is, this actually works with a little hide button. There is my table of contents. And if I wanna edit this, go back and let's just say, uh, appearance, border color, let's just see what this looks like, red, save, and it shows you what those modifications are right there, that's a nice touch, update, preview, adds a nice little border, so you get to play with the look and feel a little bit, you know, especially if you're if you have a very highly designed site, or you're just trying to match the branding a little bit, it doesn't look so broken in, in your particular theme, Works a treat. If I click this, brings me right down to the section. It's a tale of two plugins. It's Ultimate Blocks using their Table of Contents block, and then it is Lucky WP Table of Contents, both freely available on WordPress.org. I'll drop the links in the description below. Hope you found this video useful. 
tried to make it short, but you know what? Sometimes I just like to talk about everything around the plugin uh, and the whole reasoning of everything. Thumbs up. If you like videos like this, subscribe to the channel. If you want more, share it with all your WordPress friends and family. It's WordCamp US Day. It's Friday. Uh, then tomorrow's the second day. So I hope everyone's enjoying their WordCamp US 2019 extravaganza. We'll see you in the next video.